Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. A really exciting video this week. I'm going to be eating and working out like a Victoria's Secret model for the next week or so. Maybe five days, maybe seven days. It's a week, okay? I'm really excited. I don't know, I've seen a few people do this and I just thought it'd be really interesting. I've done my research. I haven't really wrote down specific Victoria's Secret models or anything, but I've just wrote down, um, I looked at like a article or something of a load of things that they eat. This morning, I'm just gonna have porridge. A bit boring, I know, but I think I saw one of the Victoria models do it with cinnamon and apple. Let's make the porridge. here's our first meal of the week i've got apple a dollop of peanut butter and cinnamon porridge mm. not bad as soon as i finish this i will weigh myself i'm gonna measure my waist as well so we can compare okay so i thought i would do a quick before and after so this is my current And I want to measure my waist. I just think it might be quite interesting. 24 inches. 25 and a half, maybe. Can you see that? And let's check the scales. Eight stone, 13.4. Stay tuned to see the results and whether eating like a Victoria's Secret model is going to make me look like one. Probably wishful thinking. honest with you fell off the bandwagon already day one not i'm just gonna say two no it was day one of doing the diet um i had a kfc last night <laughs> harry got back from work really late last night we had no food in the fridge um we were looking after jack which you would have seen in last week's vlog uh so I just wasn't about to cook. I couldn't be able to put anything together. So Harry just grabbed a KFC on the way home. We didn't eat till really late. That's enough of my excuses. I'm going to go to the shops now. We're scrapping yesterday. We're starting again from today. I did think about just not putting the clip in from yesterday and just starting fresh today. But I'm going to be real with you guys. You know, it's okay. If you want a KFC, eat a KFC, you know. So I'll see when I actually make something because it's 10. No, it's half 11 now. And I haven't eaten a single thing yet. I haven't even drunk anything. Like, I literally haven't had anything other than, like, some water. It is 20 to 2, and I'm finally in breakfast. So, I'm having avocado on sourdough toast and poached eggs. Here it is. I mean, solid C for, for presentation. That is pretty pretty shocking um i don't think the avocado is ripe enough it did say ready to eat red like ripe and ready they obviously lied to me um because i could not mash that for dear life hard as nails so i just chopped it up and put it on there um and i'm just gonna hope that it's nice because i don't actually really like avocado or i like guacamole i don't really like avocado mm. not bad I think if the avocado was more of a spread consistency than hard like it is now, it'd be really good. It's workout time. This set is from Amazon, by the way, before anyone asks me. Um, not that anybody asks me, but just in case. <laughs> I found this workout on YouTube. This is Kelly Gale. Um, who is a Victoria's Secret model herself, I believe, or was at least a year ago. <laughs> it's a full body shredded workout for 40 minutes. I already know I'm going to be dead by the end of this. <laughs> that was hard work, I won't lie. I'm gonna go have a protein shake now because I have read that a lot of the models try to keep high in protein, protein bars, protein shakes, um, protein, all that jazz. So yeah, I thought I would have a protein shake. My first ever one. 
So this is the protein powder I'm going to use. It's just vegan chocolate one. And I'm just gonna mix it with water. Doesn't look like the most appetizing thing in the world. That does not smell good. <laughs> it's okay it's not the best it's a bit powdery but probably would have been nice for the milk dinner is served so i made a thai soup or Thai chicken soup, I'm sure it is. I can't remember which model it is, says she likes to eat this, but one of them does, I'm sure. Don't hold me to it, but I'm sure. <laughs> um, I've never made it before, I've never tried it before. It looks really nice. It's got rice noodles in it, chicken, peppers, onions, and I'll probably take this for my lunch tomorrow as well, because I'm at work tomorrow, so it'll be easier to just take leftovers. I need to show you tomorrow now because I'm probably not gonna take my camera with me to work. For breakfast, I have got Greek protein yogurt with granola. There's also flax seeds and chia seeds in there. And then some fruit. Lunch, I've got what I had for dinner, which is the chicken Thai noodle soup with some carrots and hummus. I think it's Gigi Hadid or Kendall Jenner that loves carrots and hummus. And then just snacks throughout the day, I've got some nutty mix. They all rave about nuts. They're just like plain, not salted or anything some grapes and this is a homemade protein bar i just got back from work i say just it's six o'clock i've been back like an hour i've just been sat in a tiktok hole and the last thing i want to do right now is work out i'm gonna do it okay let's get it done let's get it out of the way i'm gonna do this one that i found on sunny vloet i don't know it's here 20 minutes let's go <sighs> 20 minutes done I had harder moves in it than yesterday but obviously it was only 20 minutes to yesterday's was 40 minutes so it was a little bit easier however just at the end she said oh this is a great workout to do in conjunction with one of my ab or butt workouts so now I'm gonna have to do one of them. Just when I thought it was over, I'm gonna have to do another one. So I just had a look through and she has a 12 minute ab and butt workout. I'm not gonna record this one. I'm not gonna time lapse it, but trust me, I'm gonna do it. I ended up going for teriyaki chicken again can't remember which model it's this with broccoli and baby corn and then i've also done it with a side of rice and i've mixed some vegetables in there and some egg just for some extra protein another day another breakfast i genuinely don't know what to have today i've got a few options on here i'm gonna have the toast i fancy the toast and avocado and eggs let's do that let's do that bit of a shambles that I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just cannot mash avocado. I'm just getting into my lunch. I completely forgot to update you guys. So I'm having chicken salad. Um, I've got 100 grams of chicken. I just put like peri peri seasoning on it. And then lettuce, sweet corn, beetroot, radishes, cucumber, peppers. I think that's pretty much it. A lot of greens. <laughs> hmm. Change it into my gym stuff, which only means one thing. It's time for another workout. Today I have selected a 15 minute ab workout by Rom Rom Romy? Rom Reese Romy. I'll show you. <laughs> Obviously, another Victoria's Secret model. And I've also upgraded my towel to an actual mat, so that's good. If I don't have abs at the end of this, I'm gonna be pissed. 
so just done dinner i've got some sweet potato fries a little bit of salad and a chicken burger i can't remember again which model it was that says she eats burgers i'm not sure if she's telling the truth or not but that's what i've got with some halloumi on top just for some added protein okay just before i go to bed i thought i would show you my prep for tomorrow because again i am in the office tomorrow and i probably will be leaving my camera at home in here we have got leftover teriyaki chicken and egg fried rice um, and then obviously lots of vegetables i've got this some carrot sticks and a little pot of hummus as well as a bit of a snack for my lunch as well i'm doing this in a weird order because now i'm gonna go on to breakfast so i've got greek protein yogurt in there and then i've got some uh, protein granola as well and then i also saw these in lidl which is berry seed and nut mix and i saw that they had almond nuts and goji berries as well as like pumpkin seeds and other stuff and i saw a lot of the models had these goji berry things and almonds in their porridge and in their granola and stuff so i thought i'd just try it obviously i won't eat the whole thing but i'll just sprinkle some of that on there in the morning and then i'm also going to add some strawberries to that as well or if i decide not to then i'll just eat the strawberries as a snack along with a few grapes and then i always get paranoid that i'm not going to be eating enough <laughs> I have got a apple which I'm going to have with peanut butter and in there is a bit of cinnamon. They all say that they snack on fruit and nut butters and nuts and all stuff like that. I have still got the nuts from Monday in my bag as well so I've also got them if I get extra hungry. And then also got a protein bar which I probably won't end up eating but just in case better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> and realized i should do a quick update for you guys today i did stick to the diet pretty much all day i think i said the night before i showed you what i was eating today and i literally ate all of that i know i said i probably won't but i did <laughs> i was really hungry today i don't know why i also haven't exercised today i didn't really have time that's a lie i definitely could have fitted it in but even models have rest days right do they they must do so that was my day um you saw my dinner i had toad in the hole which what i'm not gonna lie that wasn't on the models things harry made dinner for me tonight i wasn't gonna not eat it um but it was essentially protein and veg which is what most of them eat so i think it's still in the guidelines like there wasn't really anything unhealthy maybe a bit of your maybe your shit isn't that healthy i'm gonna go to bed now so i will see you tomorrow i am so hungry my stomach is rumbling today I think I'm going to do a protein smoothie bowl thing because um, I've seen that they like smoothies, they like protein smoothies, things like that, like a bit of an um, kai bowl sort of thing. Not that I have any uh, kai, but you get the idea with like granola and stuff. I just really fancy like a bagel, like a bacon and egg bagel. <laughs> I am well impressed with that. <laughs> um, it's granola and then like just a fruit smoothie with orange juice water and then I did do a heap of chocolate protein because I do normally eat this um I've got I've added some extras but I normally eat like a more plain version of this so hopefully it's nice with the chocolate protein um and then there's chia seeds flax seeds and I just put some fresh strawberry on top for some extra taste and decoration taste test Not as good as my normal smoothie bowl i prefer it without the chocolate protein it just got like a powdery taste to it um but it's fine i mean it's better for you isn't it extra protein lunch time i have done some kale crisps sort of thing crisps <laughs> this is what i'm going to be making i'm going to put these in the oven for like 20 minutes and hopefully they'll be all crispy and a nice healthier alternative to regular crisps for my lunch i'm going to do avocado and scrambled egg on a bagel thin i know i've kind of had this quite a bit but this does seem to be one of um quite consistent meal in a lot of the models diets and they do seem to have it quite regularly i was going to do like a chicken salad or a chicken and rice but um i'm just a bit full to be honest after breakfast i just don't really fancy a proper i don't really fancy that and i've got chicken tonight which will probably be chicken and rice so i don't want to 
keep eating the same thing. So I'm gonna do avocado on a bagel thin. I'm sorry, but someone is gonna have to tell me the tips and tricks of mashing an avocado. I literally cannot do it for the life of me. And it's actually really starting to wind me up. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Today is not my day. I don't think they're edible. My timer hasn't even freaking gone off yet. <laughs> Oh, I'm not having a good day, but here's my lunch. I'm gonna tuck into that now. <sighs> I've only gone and done it again. <laughs> I can't believe I wasted all that stuff and then I did it again. And I've done it again. I did it on a lower temperature and for less time. They're not as bad. But they are burnt. Time for the gym. We're actually going. Venturing out of the house. Let's go. It's really loud, never. Just gonna shut the brain on the chair. I'm taking out a bottle. Very session. And now we go home and have some dinner. just getting ready for the gym um it is saturday today i'm not sure how much i showed you yesterday i think i showed you what i was eating um but it was more or less the same as all the other days i did go out for dinner last night but i tried to stick to as close as the diet as possible um and yeah like i said i'm now getting ready for the gym and we've only really got today left um i'll probably maybe weigh myself tomorrow morning and that'll be like the last proper day um but obviously i've got to get it edited and uploaded for tomorrow so today is really the last day i'm nervous i don't know if i've seen much difference or not so i'm gonna really go hard in the gym today um make the most of it and yeah i haven't had breakfast yet it's like what's, what's my time it's quarter to nine so gonna smash that out then i'm gonna come home and i think i'm gonna make protein pancakes i'm also meant to be going out for lunch today i think but hopefully i can stick to it i'll probably just have like a salad or something because i'm not giving up this close to the end i am back from the gym and i just did a quick ab workout in my garden as well because you're only allowed like 15 minutes in my gym at the moment so I didn't really have enough time to do like everything I wanted. So I thought I'm going to, I wanted to really go ham. So I literally did cardio legs, but basically full body. Um, and then I wanted to come home and do like an ab focused one. It was literally like 10 minutes. Um, it is 20 past 11 now. I literally had the tiniest bit of yogurt and granola before the gym just to have a little bit of something in me. And then I was going to have some protein pancakes, which I was really looking forward to um for breakfast but my dad just texted me i did say i was going out for lunch um and he wants to go at like half 12 so there's no point in me eating now if i'm going out for lunch because then i probably won't eat my lunch so i'm just not gonna eat until i go for lunch because it's like i said half t half 11 now it takes me half an hour to get there so i've got half an hour to get ready and then once i get there i'll literally be eating so there's no point i have literally been non-stop today it is four o'clock and this is the first time I've sat down. Um, so just quickly wanted to talk through today. Obviously, I think... I, I literally can't remember what I showed you. I went out for lunch with my dad. And I think I videoed it. If I did, I'll put it in now. I had a beetroot burger. It doesn't sound the healthiest burger. But it was like completely made of beetroot. Like you can see in the clip, it is like bright red. With walnuts as well, which obviously... Um, in a lot of the Victoria's Secret models diets and then I had it with a side salad and a few chips so it's pretty healthy I was gonna have just a salad but they didn't have any like what type of restaurant doesn't have a salad I don't know but anyway we went with the healthiest thing really on on the menu and I'm about to have a protein bar and a cup of tea so this is a PhD oh this is the make of the shaker that I've got PhD smart bar high protein low sugar bar this is white chocolate 
Blondie and it has 21 grams of protein. That is so nice. That is unreal. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a cookies and cream one. That doesn't really look like a white chocolate brownie. A white chocolate blondie something. Sorry. And it tastes like cookies and cream. I think I think they put the wrong one in the packaging. Can I see? Either way, it's really nice. Still in the exact same spot I was in last time we spoke. <laughs> I went from not sitting down all day to not moving so it's now like nearly or coming up to half five um, and I'm just thinking about what to have for dinner but to be honest I'm quite full from lunch so I don't want too much and I know I've got eggs and bacon to eat which is obviously good protein and I know the models do eat scrambled egg and poached egg and bacon um, on toast and stuff not probably for dinner but I'm still technically sticking to the rules however I genuinely don't fancy that right now um and I really fancy a cold fruit smoothie with maybe granola on top it just feels wrong to be eating it at 5 p.m while I'm doing this this like challenge but again it is what they eat so I think it's allowed but will I be hungry again later you know what, I'm just, I fancy it so I'm just gonna have it. Who cares about what time it is? Yum. Just what I needed. That is, I'm only really craving something. Mmm. Morning everyone. So it is the last gym day of the challenge. Today is Sunday, which means results day. Um, and I thought I would just get in one more cheeky gym session. I'm gonna be late So I literally need to leave right this second um, But yes, I'm gonna smash the gym gonna do like a full body hip workout I found some exercises from the Victoria's Secret models We're just gonna smash it out and then we're gonna come back for the results and see if there's any difference So I'm back from the gym ready for the final results we were 24 and a half inches so let's see if we've had any changes there 24 lost half an inch which for a week i don't think is that bad I'm quite impressed do i look like i've lost half an inch <laughs> let's see how much i now weigh i was 18 stone 13 pounds Oh, oh god, low battery. <laughs> We've gained 0.2. So yeah, technically we have gained 0.2. But then obviously, muscle does weigh more than fat. So potentially it's just because I've been weight training. Um, maybe I've gained a bit of muscle. But let's just check the overall physique. Got bigger. <laughs> so there we have it. I haven't lost any weight, but I do feel so much better within myself. Um, I'm definitely getting fitter. Every time I go to the gym, I feel myself getting fitter, and it's a really nice feeling. Um, and I also am seeing changes and differences in myself. I mean, obviously, I've, this is challenge has only been a week anyway. Maybe if I did it longer, then I would see more results and more weight loss. Um, and it wasn't about losing weight quick either. It was just to see basically what would happen if I followed their diet. Also, I didn't think their diet was overly strict. Maybe I need to follow one where it's before a show what they would eat or I could do like maybe what bodybuilders do when they, they're shredding for a competition or something like that. If you guys would like to see some sort of video like that then let me know because um, I think it would be really interesting. I'd definitely be up for doing it. So just leave any suggestions down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you again soon. Bye!